welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading, so there's a need for you to get back control of that particular situation. This is the King of Swords, so you may have gone through some kind of legal um, problem um, and uh, maybe a legal decision was passed or is about to be passed. It looks like there's going to be celebration after that, so it's going to be something victorious that you're going through. So uh, getting control back, but also that legal decision, if you're facing it, is going to bring in a lot of celebration. So there's going to, it's going to be victory on your part over there. So something has happened that has caused a lot of sorrow. Uh, you've got a lot of anxiety and stresses also with this particular card. This is the Nine of Swords, so going and expecting the worst case scenario. But it looks like this decision is going to be made and there's going to be celebration that comes out with that decision. Now, in the past, you were just, you know, getting on with things with the uh, ordinariness is about, you know, just focusing on your work, getting through the day and just, you know, getting on with things. And then something happened, which is the th Thunderbolt card or the Tower card. So some kind of big event that happened that stirred up a lot of problems, caused a lot of chaos in your life, a lot of drama in your life. You've got a lot of thun uh, lightning over there being struck and people falling out of that. So there was a lot of loss. You've got a lot of fire over there. So there's been a lot of conflict as well that you've been facing. So something really big that caused a lot of sorrow. It could have even been a death that has um, happened. It could have been a divorce that happened. Um, so some kind of separation, but it's caused you to feel very lonely, very isolated, very miserable. But that's about to change because you've got that celebration card coming in over here. And it's going to give you a new perspective. You've got new vision coming in over there. So the hangman is waiting for things to happen and, uh, you know, making new plans and having a new insight into what has happened. So all of this has changed the way you think about things now. And you've got possibilities coming in, a choice coming in for you. So you will reach a crossroads uh, once this decision is made about what to do next. Uh, this might be travel because it's the two of rods. But also, you know, you're at the crossroads in your life about, um, you know, accepting new projects or even moving on, leaving the old behind and moving on. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm just going to use the Anna K Tarot for the main read. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Emperor. So the Emperor card, um, you know, shows that there is, it's something that is ruled by Archangel Michael. It's a card that's ruled by Archangel Michael, which shows that there was some kind of legal decision that is pending or you're waiting for. So a decision is going to be made uh, with this Emperor card. This is about you also taking control back of the situation. So the energy reads showed uh, that there was a uh, um, legal decision uh, with that authority card. So the emperor card here is also showing that there's a legal decision that is pending or coming up for you here. And that is going to be where you're victorious in it because you've got the Ace of Swords over here. And this is about having victory uh, in any kind of battle that you're facing with that emperor card over there. And you're going to be able to move away from whatever that circumstance is. So there's some kind of legal decision coming in over here, and that's going to allow you to move away. So it's an end of a very, very difficult situation. There was a lot of drama. You, you know, the Five of Swords comes before the Six of Swords. So that shows that, you know, you've gone through a lot of problems and a lot of conflict. Uh, and, you know, it's ended up with a legal battle and uh, a decision made in your favor, really. So in the past, you've got the Ace of Rods. So there's been something that you've taken a risk on, some kind of new project, some kind of new venture. Maybe you're starting afresh uh, with this Ace of Rods uh, or starting a new job somewhere else. You might have to have to travel. She's going over water here. So taking a chance and going for it. And it seems like whatever you've been doing as far as the work front goes, you've been quite victorious, quite successful at it. You've obviously gone, gone through a lot uh, and, you know, you've had a lot of people supporting you now. And a lot of recognition has come to you uh, from the past. Now, you've got the Seven of Swords over here. So you have been dealing with a very deceptive situation. This is still playing on your mind. You're still thinking about it quite a lot. So you may have had quite a bit of loss. And this might have been due to people lying, stealing from you or cheating. Uh, and that's still playing on your mind. And it could have, a, um, you know, led to a financial loss. You've got... Uh, 
a lot of money in this bag of yours, so there might have been something stolen. And this may have been why there's this legal case even pending, because you've got a sword sitting in that bag of coins over there. So there might have been uh, some kind of uh, you know, theft uh, or some kind of financial loss where the, the law was uh, involved in it. Now going to the future, you've got the King of Rods, so you're very determined to get things done. It looks like you're going to get into some kind of position of authority and move forward. Uh, you can see news coming in about that, so if you're waiting for some kind of job offer, that comes in for you. But this is about you taking control of that situation and being in charge. It looks like you're going to be traveling quite a bit. This is your card, the chariot. Uh, you might be moving home. You could be even buying a new home somewhere else, somewhere in the sun, really. But you'll be working pretty hard. Whatever job you're taking on, you're in leadership. You've got this whip over here and he's in charge of these two horses here. So it looks like you're going to be um, in charge, but it might be away from your home. So you are, it looks like you're relocating to do this particular job. You've got a choice to make here with the lover's card. So uh, some kind of decision coming up for you, uh, maybe just to, you know, whether to stay or to take on this new role uh, that is being offered to you. And um, on your mind, you've got the Eight of Swords. Something is still keeping you tied up within that situation. You're a bit scared to do things right now. Uh, you, you can see this woman's looking into this mirror uh, that, where she's all tied up. So you're not necessarily tied up. Maybe you are looking for excuses to stay put rather than moving um, home. Um, so it seems like you know, you're going to have to um, deal with that as to whether you want to stay in the situation or you want to move on and make a fresh start. You're quite anxious about it. Um, so going to the future, the final outcome, you've got the Four of Pentacles over here, the Three of Rods, and the Five of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is about um, you know, maybe cutting people out from your life who want to actually... Um, you know, be involved in it. But this is also, you know, keeping a hold of uh, things uh, that you ought to let go of. Um, so this is even, um, you know, trying not to overspend, keeping a tight rein on your finances. The trees are bare over here, so it's looking as though, you know, you are having some kind of financial uh, problems. You may be looking for assistance, um, but you're not accepting any help, it seems. Uh, you know, you're trying to still cling on to the things from the past. Um, and you've got the Three of Rods over here, which is showing about collaborating, moving, traveling, starting afresh somewhere else. So leaving behind something and going on, making plans for the future and going on. So maybe you are at that crossroads in your life where you have to move on. Whatever you've been through, there's a big loss. You are feeling very alone, very isolated, uh, maybe very despondent. But there is help there. There's somebody that is there to support you and get you through this difficult situation. Now, whatever you've been through, it seems like, you know, you need to start moving forward with that King of Rods. It's, you can see his fist is, you know, bunched up over there, which is showing that, you know, you need to make that decision and move forward and, and go for it, really. And if it means you actually moving on or leaving behind this old situation, instead of clinging to it like this person in the Four of uh, Pentacles isn't, clinging to things, it's only going to lead to more upset and more distress. You actually need to make plans and move to the future. You need to move out of that situation in order for you to progress, or you'll be perpetually feeling tied up or restricted. So you need to cut those ties that bind you and move on. So that decision coming in for you that will free you uh, in order for you to make a decision to move forward. And you need to be brave enough to actually take that first step, really. So this is cards from the uh, Angel Tarot. The first card is Unity, and it says traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors or like-minded friends. So you might need to do some research, ask for some kind of advice from somebody on how to do things or how to proceed forward. You might need some, some kind of professional advice or even you know advice from somebody that you really trust and admire. Uh, in for you to move forward. The um, Hierophant card is also taking on that sort of mentor role, uh, so maybe that's what you're going to be uh, you know, taking on in this new job. You've got the Queen of Water over here, so relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. So you've got the Queen of Water over here, which is, you know, it's, uh, speaking about feeling a bit depressed, feeling a bit miserable there. Um, so, you know, you need to actually, um, you know, get over that depression, stop looking at the past, stop crying about the past. And the final card is the Knight of Fire over here, and this is, uh, you know, card ruled by Leo, which says, a sudden event that needs immediate attention, time is of the essence, um, think things through clearly. So the Knight of Fire is, um, you know, somebody that needs to move, uh, relocate, uh, change uh, location, um, you know, change jobs, move 
you know, a lot of trouble coming in with this knight of fire um, and taking control of that situation. So there you have the king of rods, you taking control, taking charge, and, uh, you know, moving forward into the future. And then you've got that knight of fire coming in that says, you know, you might have to move. You've got that chariot card over there moving home, maybe even buying a new home and moving on, uh, but definitely uh, leaving an old job situation behind and moving forward. Uh, and maybe even signing new contracts with that Ace of Swords over there. And you are getting over a very difficult situation, leaving everything behind and moving on. So you're waiting for this judgment to come in here. A decision will need to be made for you to make something, you know, of yourself and stop clinging to the past. Uh, you know, you've got... To you're already going through a phase of lack. Uh, you have to have new visions for the future. There's a lot of support coming in for you here. Um, but if you make that change, it looks like you're going to be pretty successful. And you, a decision coming in so that you have to make it pretty quickly. So try not to be depressed about the, whatever's going on. Uh, you know, look to the future and be positive about it. There's a lot of sun in this uh, spread, uh, which is about Leo showing your authority and being very confident in what you do and, uh, you know, not being negative about things. So take in a positive uh, attitude and move forward. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, you might need to relocate or travel um, to actually make things change. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.